Hey guys, we're Adam and Steph, and we're converting a school bus into our dream home on wheels. For the last what feels like forever, we've been prepping the exterior of our schoolie for paint, and although we primed our bus over a month ago, we were served a ton more work on our plate. In this video, we finally finished the preparation before finally putting some color on our bus. We're so excited for you guys to see what color we chose, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. All I see is blessings, got no time for stressing. Don't believe in failures in my life, it's only lessons. They just make a room for what I'm on now. I don't got a clue, but I know the one who does know how. Oh, wow. It's like I'm learning the game with the maker I already know now. Destiny has my name, no, it's coming, it'll never go. I know that we all gonna be alright. We gon' make it through if it takes us all night No matter what the odds may bring our way I can see the blessings coming our way, yeah, yeah, yeah Blessings on blessings, yeah I can see the blessings coming our way, our way, our way Blessings on blessings, yeah So we have this piece of plastic This is part of the fender it Goes underneath the headlights and it has a crack in it, if you can see that. I've got it taped up, but right here, you can see in the, from the back, there's a, there's a crack. So we're going to repair it. I'm gonna to attempt to repair it with fiberglass. So I have a little piece of random strand fiberglass here, and I have some polyester uh, resin. And I'm going to apply this piece of fiberglass and give it some strength behind it so that it stays together. And then from the front, I'm gonna use some Bondo and just make it look smooth, but the strength comes from the fiberglass. You only have to add 14 milliliters of this stuff for every liter of this stuff. So basically this is liquid plastic. What methyl F ketone, oh, that's three drops. Those are tiny drops though. That's, I think, more than enough. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna thoroughly mixed in. I got this and I got a brush. I got a brush that I don't care about because this brush is going to be a goner after this. Kind of like paper mache. Exactly. So you wet out what you're gonna apply it to, nice and soaked so it sticks. You take your piece, you place it, and it will start to soak strength. I made a couple extra pieces here. Ooh. Let's try to put that over here. What you want is it, see right here, that there's a texture to it. You can see all the strands. It's not too wet. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you want to see. You don't want to go too wet because this stuff has no strength. The strength comes from the fiberglass. The actual, this stuff. That's your strength. Basketball. Don't crack the cup. We need it. So, Subway Auto Body Supply is the one who hooked us up. So we got ourselves industrial primer. We're gonna be thinning it with some xylene. And right here, the magic of the operation, this is a pressure pot system. And this is the gun, we don't know much about it. So the gun and the pressure pot was uh, donated to us by <laughs> Stephanie's dad. Um, shout out to him. He works with spray systems and sets people up all the time. That's his job and he did a great job with getting us one of these so we can paint our brush properly with the spray gun and not having to shell out thousands of dollars for a system like this. So thank you.
<laughs> Look at it. And just as we thought we were done sanding. More sanding. <laughs> oh, we just love sanding so much, don't we? No. <laughs> this isn't bad. I'm using the... This thing. Yeah, well, I'm doing all the handwork, so... She always chooses that. Speak for yourself. You always choose to do that. You always go for the hand sander. Every single time. <laughs> and you complain about the hand sander. You could have just grabbed this. I grabbed this after you grabbed the hand sander. Yeah, whatever. Hello. Just doing some final sanding before we get to paint it. Why are we sanding? Because we didn't prime it very well. And it's, there's a little bit of a texture and the overspray makes it really like powdery and gritty. So hopefully we can figure that out for when we actually paint the bus. There's little sections that I can see. If you look down the bus here. You can see a section like this where it's good and then it's not good. It's hard to tell on the camera, but we use a whole five gallons of primer on this. So we're going to fix this texture. Yep. It's e way easier than when we sanded it before we primed it, because that one we really had to sand it good. But this, like, you just do a light sand and, the, and that texture comes right off. So, pretty easy. And we're using a 320 grit. Yep. Anything more coarse and you'll start to see the, the scratch lines in your final paint. So it's fine enough that it fills in. Yep. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. and today, I'm going to make another attempt on cutting this bumper off, taking the, cutting these things off. I'm not going to cut the bumper up, but I want to take the bumper off so I can prep underneath this edge properly. So prep the bumper, sandblasting it, because it's got layers and layers and layers and layers of of paint over the years they were just shoving on it to keep it black and not look like a rusty bus but they did a horrible job it's got an awful texture to it so a nice sand blending slam blending job sand blasting job would be nice plus it's bent on this corner it's bent down so i want to try to straighten that out while it's off
why it's rusting through. Yep. Oh. Oh, what's this? That's where the wanda hole is. Yeah? Oh, hello. A little nest in here. Oh, Wait, no. you know what this is? What? The sarcophagus? Yep. Tell them about the sarcophagus. So when I was doing the floor in the corner, there was a, a hole that I just did not want to deal with. So I just started just filling it with weld. It was a rusty spot. I just filled it and filled it and filled it and filled it. And I got it sort of full. And then um, I took a bunch of caulking and just jammed it in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's there the it caulking. is. <laughs> yeah, the backside. Just, that's not, that's not dealing with things properly. And uh, now look at, this is our finished was supposed to be our finished metal and it just kept rusting straight through. No shirt, no gloves, no shoes. Let's weld. It's hot. So after a very long time sanding, the bus is ready for a final wash for color. I know we've said it a lot before, and there's no way to quantify on camera how much sanding sucks. But man, sanding sucks. Today is the day for color. Color. We need some color in our lives. Because <laughs> this is a little too gray for us. So, we go buy some color. We go buy some color now. <laughs> think? I can't tell you which one of these colors we're thinking of, but <laughs> we're thinking of one of them. <laughs> <laughs> one through 60, what do you guys uh, think? Uh, gotta comment uh, what, what color you think we're gonna pick. <laughs> we got a white, we got grays, yellows, oranges. Reds, well, all blues, of these greens. can be counted out because why did we do all that work if we're keeping it yellow? <laughs> Okay, we'll make it easier for you guys. Okay, one through 30. Okay. <laughs> That's all you get. You gotta see the color done. <laughs> the real reason it's taken us so long to paint our bus is because it's been raining like crazy where we live. That's also the reason why it took us so long on our bathroom skylight too, if you remember from a few videos back. We've experienced the, the craziest rain that I've ever experienced. Our Instagram followers know that we've already painted our bus, but we want to do the black accents in the same video, so as soon as we do that, we'll drop the color reveal. But our next video will be a travel vlog for our trip to British Columbia for a friend's wedding. Thank you all so much for your support. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! All I see is blessings. Got no time for stressing. Don't believe in failures in my life. It's only lessons.